Hey, welcome back to Building a SaaS with SaaS Rock series. And this is day two, currently on July 8th. Uh, before I dive into the project I'm building, um, I want to tell you what uh, what changed yesterday, or I mean today, uh, the things that were, were added to the SaaS Rock score. Um, there's the admin inbox and the accounts inbox. And also Superbase buckets is used for email attachment storage. So if you go to sasrock.com slash admin emails, uh, you will see that we have this inbound um, address. Uh, this is uh, the default for each, um, well, you, have, you will have your own inbound address, but you cannot change it. Um, here on setup instructions on Postmark, you can see it right here. So let's try and send an email to that address. And let's grab an attachment. This is an image. So let's wait until the Postmark webhook is triggered. So here it is. Let's see the email. It has uh, an attachment. Uh, also, this view is new. The email details where you can see the subject from to date uh, red ad and attachments. Um, as you can see, this is a Superbase public URL. And we have the file right here. So in order to uh, be saved on Superbase buckets, uh, you need to set these two environment variables, Superbase API URL and Superbase key. Keep in mind that I'm using the key that bypasses the role level security of Superbase. So I'm not using actually the role level security uh, rules. Um, so let's go back and see if we can send emails to certain tenants. Uh, we will not be able to because uh, we have an invalid inbound domain. I want to show you how to set up that. Uh, you go to settings from your server and set here your inbound. Of course, you have to redirect some MX records. Um, you can see the uh, postmark um, documentation for that on your hosting provider. I'm using Cloudflare, Flare, so I redirect um, some uh, this to the inbound.postmarkapp.com. So if we set this and reload this page, we can send to this tenant uh, inbound address and it will be on the inbox for that account. And for the admin, it will be support. You can change this. I believe it's hard coded, but you can change this. Uh, let's try sending one email to support, to support and one email to an account to Acme Corp. Let's wait until they trigger. It took about 20 seconds each. So let's refresh the, the admin inbound emails. Here it is to support and the account inbox to Acme Corp. So um, this is basically it. Um, if you uh, want to change uh, your bucket, you will have to go to the implementation. And as you can see here, I'm creating a bucket for email attachments. Um, so this is how my Superbase project looks like on the storage. If I delete this, uh, it will create on demand because I have hard coded it. So next. Let's uh, use this functionality on our project. Uh, first, I pulled and merged uh, the changes. And then I deleted the migrations folder and deleted the dev database file. And I installed again uh, to get the Superbase JS library and set my Superbase API URL and the Superbase key environment variables. Um, so let's start the application. Uh, oh, well, I already started. And here I have my inbound address. Um, by the way, I deleted uh, some uh, 
an environment variable that was called postmark inbound because the inbound is um, unique. So once you set your server token, it will be the same. Um, so, but we don't want this uh, to be like this. So let's go to the settings for this server and change it to domain. Uh, well, but I have not redirected this MX record, so um, let, let me do that first. You will encounter this error as well, so let me explain a little bit more. Um, it says we could not find an MX record uh, pointing to inbound Postmark RF. If, if you um, go to the documentation right here, you will have to redirect your domain to inbound.postmarkup.com with a 10 priority. So let me go ahead and do that and set this. Okay, I have already said that. So the settings have been updated. Now let's refresh our inbox and let's try this. But um, we need to set up uh, ng-rock to redirect the webho webhooks from Postmark. Um, if you go to setup instructions, you will have to enter your inbound webhook URL. So it will look something like, um, well, let's start first our ngrock server. And let's copy this. And the webhook is on the application like this, webhooks inbound email. I mean, webhooks email, email inbound. So the ngrock URL, webhooks, slash inbound, I mean email, uh, inbound. Maybe it's not uh, supported with HTTPS, so let's use this one instead. Yeah, so let's try again by sending an email. And let's wait for it to trigger. Here it is, so we should uh, have this request and a 201 uh, status which is created and right here as well. So it should already been created on our local host and yep, yeah, it's right here. So we can start uh, start testing this way. So we already set up the webhook URL, uh, the inbound domain forwarding, forwarding and the default support admin inbox and let's test um, uh, an accounts inbox with this. So it has triggered. So we, we here we have um, this email, and here we have this email. I guess this was already uh, cleared. So uh, when I deployed my application to Vercel, I broke the, the schema, and I needed to redeploy it without the cache because, um, for example, here it says unknown field inbound addresses, which is a new uh, property for tenants. Uh, so if you encounter this type of error, you just need to redeploy your latest um, commit without the um, cache. So next, uh, the next video I will be making is about using this functionality of getting emails and getting the uh, expense receipt photos and creating another model uh, that will be expense. I don't know which will come first, if this expense receive photos uh, implementation or receiving via email 
also um, uh, XML files and using this API. So let me know if you want to see a specific thing on the next video. Finally, let's write a summary of what we saw. So we set up a postmark inbound address functionality. Uh, we used Superbase buckets and we used ngrock to use the webhook on local testing.